terminology for the radial cam and follower mechanism. A cam is a mechanical member, used to provide desired motion or displacement to the follower by direct contact. It is widely used in automobiles to direct the opening and closing of inlet and exhaust valves at the desired time. Cams are either in rotary or reciprocating or oscillating motion. The cam acts as a driving member, whereas the follower act as a driven member. If you want to know more about cams and followers and their types, you can watch my previous video. The link is provided in the description of this video, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on subscribe button and turn on the notification. Here I explain different engineering concepts in the simplest way possible. Whenever the cam rotates, it lifts the follower. The motion of the follower depends on the cam profile. The highest distance traveled by the follower during operation is called the lift of the follower, and the time spent by the follower in its bottom-most position during operation is called as dwell of the follower. The smallest circle that can be drawn tangentially to the cam profile is called the base circle. Trace point. A trace point is a theoretical point on the follower. Its motion describes the movement of the follower. For roller followers, this point of the follower is called the trace point. For knife edge followers, this edge point is the trace point. For a flat-faced follower, we can see that the trace point is shifting. In this situation, we use the center of the flat-faced follower as the trace point. Pitch curve. It is the curve drawn by the trace point, assuming that the cam is fixed and the trace point of the follower rotates around the cam in a clockwise direction. This curve is the pitch curve. In the case of the roller follower, the pitch curve is away from the cam profile at a distance equal to the radius of the roller. For a knife edge follower, the pitch curve is the same as the profile of the cam. Pressure angle. It represents the steepness of the cam profile. The angle between the direction of the follower movement and the normal to pitch curve at any point is called pressure angle. If we draw a normal to the cam profile, this normal is passing through the trace point. In the absence of friction, the force exerted by the cam profile is fully transmitted to the follower through this point. The angle between the normal to the cam profile and the axis of the follower is called the pressure angle. We can see that the force acting on the follower by the cam is in this direction. This force has two components, one is vertical and the other is a horizontal component. The magnitude of these components is varying during the operation. Here, only the vertical component contributes to the lift of the follower whereas the horizontal component is undesirable. Therefore very large pressure angle is not desirable as it increases the horizontal component, and can jam the follower in its bearing. For the smooth movement of the follower, the pressure angle should be less than the allowable value. Pitch point. As we saw, at each point on the cam surface has a different pressure angle, and its magnitude at all the instances of the follower motion will be changing. Therefore there will be a point where the magnitude of the pressure angle is maximum. A pitch point is a point corresponding to this maximum pressure angle. Pitch circle. A pitch circle is a circle, which is passing through the pitch point, and is concentric to the base circle, and the center of this pitch circle will be the center of the cam. Prime circle. The prime circle is the smallest circle that can be drawn from the center of the cam, and is tangential to the pitch curve, is called a prime circle. We can see that the radius of the prime circle is the sum of the radius of the base circle, and the radius of the roller follower. I hope you have understood the terminology for radial cam and follower. If you want to learn more from my channel, click on the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications to get all my latest videos. Also, you can help ADTW learn to reach out to more engineers like you, by sharing this video with your friends who want to understand this topic.